So, boss, now can you tell us why we're here? Has anyone here heard about Gorky 17? Wasn't it a secret spy training facility operated by the Russians? It, it was shut down last year, no? Secret, yes. Spies, no. Gorky 17 housed military experiments. One year ago, the Soviets bombed it off the face of the Earth. No one knows why. If no one knows, why do we care? As you know, this town has been placed under military quarantine. We've told the press that terrorists have struck here with smallpox. Well, this isn't exactly true. We don't know what is happening. General Gordon Lamar, chief of this operation, has information that whatever happened at Gorky 17 is happening here. Unfortunately, his first strike team wasn't able to confirm this, and we've lost contact with him. Where do we fit in? Our orders are simple. First, find any remaining members of Group 1. Second, Lamar's informant described a laboratory within the city. We are to find and secure the site. Everyone clear? Oui, I'm ready. Ovis, are you clear? Crystal clear. I'm ready, boss. Oh yes, one last thing. I'd prefer if we survive. For such a mission, it is too bad we aren't experienced soldiers. Wait, we are. Sometimes experience isn't enough. Expect anything. Enough talking, let's go. What's left of Group One? This is, was, Leif Sorensen, one of the best computer specialists in NATO. I recognize this man. He was Giancarlo Trotti, part of the Italian Special Forces attached to NATO. This man was like a rock. You could put a live grenade in his pocket and he wouldn't even break a sweat. Yeah. Well, he sure looks calm now, doesn't he? Watch it, Ovitz. This was my friend that you're talking about. Relax, Trunkteen. Can't you take joke? Knock it off, both of you. We don't have time to deal with your nonsense. Take a look at their bodies. There's something very wrong with them. Good God! That smell! And their skin! They're green! I don't like this. I have seen dead men. This is not normal death. This death reeks of evil. Enough of that, Ovitz. I don't need a paranoid team. If a guy like Trotty, with all his combat experience, died this way, we'd better stay alert. All right, then listen up. Group One had four members. We still have two missing, Joan McFadden, the team doctor, and Joseph Sashman, an English commando. I want to find them, alive. I don't know if you get your wish, boss. Something tells me this city doesn't like the living. All the more reason to hurry. To keep your eyes open. They could be hiding anywhere. They'll be hoping we can help get them out of here. 
great, boss. And who helps us get out of here? Captain, I don't like this. Why weren't we briefed on this? It is worse than I feared. Hey, you two! How about you concentrate and fight? I don't like the look of this, sir. There's evidence of abnormal acidic corrosion on this dock. Let's work fast, then. I think I see something over there on the other side. Don't worry. I will cover you. <sighs> nice try, Ovitz. You're first. How about having Trontin go first? He has such a keen scientific mind. This is not a request, Ovitz. It's an order. Move it.
Oh god, I'm going to die. I die in this hole. We're coming, Ovitz. Just stay away from them as long as you can. Come at me! Come at me! I take you all! Come on!
Don't shoot me. I am human. Hold it. Who are you and what are you doing here? My name is Vasily Dubrovsky. I am a Russian army veteran, but I decided to stay in Poland after the troops went home. Are you Americans? Not exactly. I'm Polish, and I don't like Russians. We're part of a NATO combat unit. How did you manage to survive here? I do not know. It is so strange, so horrible. My friends and neighbors, they have changed, they turned. And they become almost monsters. You can drop those hands. Do you mean to tell me that all those creatures were humans? Those creatures, I, I knew some of them. Five, ten years. Now they are no longer human. They hunt me like, like food. I lock myself in my apartment. Soon they come for me. Two come for me through my window. I, I, I think I must die. Then the window is clear again and I hear screams. And down on the street, I see two men fighting with... Don't worry, we don't scare so easy. Uh, you think I am crazy, but I think what attacked them is invisible monster. It was like the men were fighting thin air. Then their skin turns green and, and, and they drop onto the ground. Were they wearing uniforms? Like us? How many men have you seen all together? Yes, just like you. I think the men come from the sewers. I see them come out from the old Russian security doors. Their true door is sewers. Look, you have guns. You, you protect me. You stick with us and we'll do what we can. Just stay quiet and out of our way. Uh, one last thing. Did you see a woman with those men? No. Only those two. And now you. All right. Let's move out. Uh, you are interested in those men? That's right. I find this on them. Uh, on, on your bodies. You were searching through the body? No, 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 no. I search for food. I must have food to live, yes. And a gun, too. I, I hope. But please, here, here is the note. Hmm. I don't understand it. I think this is Russian. Ovitz, you can try. Okay. It says, uh... Kosov knows everything. He cares nothing for these people, but I do. If I can protect the Matrix discs, I might reverse this nightmare, but Kosov will destroy the discs if he finds them. He would do anything to protect his secret. I have hidden the discs, one in the port, one near the monuments, Two in the city center. I will try tonight to gather them and return to the lab, but Kosov has asked to meet with me this afternoon. I fear I shall not return. The note is not signed. Do you think this could be real? Mix four discs with one lab? Add horror? We could be cooking, yes? I didn't ask for any comment, Ovitz. Two men died for this note. I just hope it isn't some kind of joke. Listen up, team. I want answers. If the discs have answers, then I want those discs. Okay, let's go. Two members of Team One might still be alive. Oh no! Damn devils! Just stay back. We can hold them off. And stay away from those barrels. I think that's gasoline. Shark, Bobari!
of them is one more chance to live. Yes, boss. Please don't say we should save one.
possible. If it lives, it can die. I say, big one first! Any one of those could be dangerous. Let's go. Eyes open.
Team snap two. What do you think of it? Oh god. Merde. Cybernetics? Is that it? We're in a death trap, aren't we? We're just we're just lab rats sent to see how well these things kill. Thanks, Trontine. Next time pretend I didn't ask.
It's a trap! Watch your backs. There's gotta be a way out. Or we stay and kill them. I like the killing. You'll get us killed, Ovid! No one is dying. Not again.
Heads up, these are bigger. Don't get too close. Great advice, boss. I don't understand. Nothing I've studied can explain this. Listen, science boy. Explain less. Shoot more. Some things you don't want to understand.
where you are. How can you two steal from a place like this? You might not have noticed, but there is a bit of odd stuff going on here. How did you manage to get into the city? Money opens all doors, friend. Or don't you know? We can share some with you if you want. Drop that stuff now. You might want to worry less about money and more about survival. Alright guys, let's see what we have here. Ovitz, come here. Take a look at this chest. See how nice the boss is when he needs something. Uh, it looks like a notepad or a journal. Hmm, written in Polish. Hurry up, Ovitz, we don't have time for this. You got time to die, but no time to read, huh boss? Fine, what's it say, Ovitz? Uh, yesterday we were very drunk when he started to talk about General Kosov. I said that I knew that Kosov must have the Holy Grail in the lab from the way that he guards it. I should not have said this. Kosov walked by and he did not think it was funny. So now I'm really scared. What the hell's going to happen to me? Holy Grail. Hmm, that's a funny way to put it. It must be a metaphor. Obviously Kosov cared about keeping that lab secret. Of course it's a metaphor. I still think it's weird. Anyway, we don't have time to discuss this. Let's head on to the sewers. Doors are close. Look for the big valve. Those people, I, I hope they are down there. Up here is only death. I couldn't protect the others. I, I, I'm sorry, but I go. Protect who? What do you mean? Look, hold on. You know this place. You do this yourself. I must go. I must go! Stop! Dabrowski! Let him go, boss. That one has demons in his head. We. Oui, he may be psychotic, sir. Poor bastard. I guess leaving us wasn't such a great idea. Demons! Take my bullets back to hell! I, I, I didn't sign up for this. We don't even know if they can be killed. Let's find out then. We're finding Group 1 dead or alive.
It's Sashman. I wonder if... Wait. The body is still warm. He must have died just minutes ago. Let's hurry. McFadden may still be alive. Is that you? Giancarlo? Joseph? No. You're McFadden, right? Captain Cole Sullivan here. NATO Command. We're here to get you out. Stay where you are or I'll shoot you. Please, stay calm. We came as fast as we could. I I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner. You weren't easy to find. Though we've located your teammates. They're dead, aren't they? They were gone when we found them. Unfortunately, we have no time to get you out, but you can join us. Please, tell us what happened to Group 1. Did you all find the lab? Find the lab? We never had a chance to look. We were attacked by something. Humans changing their shape, mutating into hybrids. They came from nowhere as if out of thin air. What do you mean? They just came at us, without warning. We managed to hide here. There's no way out. Well, there is, but it's locked. We radioed for evac and waited near the port, but it just got too hairy, so we fell back here again. Then, Giancarlo and Leaf decided to go and meet the reinforcements, but they didn't come back. After a while, Joseph went up to see what was going on. I knew they're dead. Killed by Odd. The General mentioned no radio transmissions. Well, call yourself lucky. We'd better move. I need to inform HQ about your survival. We'll protect you from here. <laughs> protect me? I don't think so. But if you insist, let's go.
those things. Everyone stay calm. Panic will kill us all. I don't want to... I don't want to die. Quiet. Quiet now. Keep your heads, everyone. Watch your fire. Bad enough if they kill us. I don't want a bullet in someone.
Break for the stairs. We'll never make it. They cut us down. We don't have a choice.
don't know. What did I do? I gamble a little. But this? We're all gonna die. We're all going to die. Keep your head, and you'll be fine. Come on. You're a scientist, man.
They just keep coming as if we aren't even hurting them. 
Well, either we run out of them or we run out of ammo. That's not very hopeful. It's too late for that.
Sullivan, I'm Captain Warshak. Captain Warshak, we weren't expecting any direct support. Change of plan, Sullivan. The fate of Group 1 changes everything. I have orders to collect what's left of Group 1 and then pull out. Your team and McFadden are to pull out immediately. The chopper should be here within an hour. Good to see someone in Team 1 made it. Pull out? You must mean to evacuate Joan. I've got orders to move on. Your orders have changed. Look, this is from the top, from the General himself. Contact HQ for confirmation. This doesn't make sense. This is Sullivan. Team 2, Alpha, Zulo, Bravo 1. Please confirm instructions to pull out. Over. Verifying command codes. Pull out confirmed. Further instructions will follow. Please wait for the helicopter on the museum roof. Over. 10-4. Over and out. One of the bodies is at the sewer's entrance. The other ones are at the northern port area. Be careful. Hmm. Seems a bit strange, but an order is an order. Right, let's move. Let's head for the roof and out of here. doing? They're barely interested in us. Trontine, what is this? I, uh, it could be herd behavior. Maybe they want to separate one of us for, um, uh, for fitting. Keep together then. Are you sure? Sure? I've never seen anything like this. Let me analyze then, boss. We kill them or they kill us.
Please, help me. You see? Talking demons. Who is right after all, eh? Just kill it! Kill it? If it can talk, it must be human, right? Nothing certain. Not here. Please. rescuing me. I know my appearance is shocking. I don't know how all of this happened, but unlike the others, I kept my sanity. My name is Jan Kuretz. I was the curator here, in the museum, until strange things started to happen. Some people started disappearing. Others just went mad. It has been so horrible. One night when I was working later, I, I felt an excruciating pain in my stomach. And then I felt my spine being twisted. Oh, you can't realize how scared I was of what it felt like. Amazing. You seem to have kept your mind intact. I hope once we get you back to humanity, something can be done. Get him back! Maybe you don't notice he is a demon! Please, I am as human as you are. Have your eyes changed too, because you and I, we are not alike! I know this area well, and I have acquired a few new survival skills with my... my changes. Do you really think doctors can help me? I'm a soldier, not a doctor. I can't promise you anything. Yes, of course, I understand.
I think we are not alone, and yes, I am right.
can pull out, sir. Cut our losses. This is crazy. Let's be careful. It might be a trap. Trap? This city is a trap. Come on, sir. Pull us out now. We came for a reason. I'm getting answers.
closing in! I feel it! They're closing in! Fight to an exit! Move!
It's a child! How the hell did she survive? Where is your family? Let me try to talk to her. Yak mashna ime? Vies jetsa tvoi rojitsa? She's probably in shock. She is. I'll take care of her. What? Let's kill it! Kill it! Focus, team. Focus. Protect the child.
can't be happening. Oh no! Demons spawn on Earth! Fire! Fire!
Where's that chopper? Give me some suppression fire now. It's Sullivan. Where is that chopper? We're getting killed here. Over. You found my eyes. Give me the general. Over. Killing us! We gotta pull out immediately! Give me time to be back over! Over! Anyone there? Close! Over! Oh! What kind of trap? Blow me open an exit now! All wrong! Wrong! Move it! Move it!
interesting. Something similar happened to us when we radioed for help. You mentioned that before. Look, I'm not told everything, but as far as I know, NATO never received any transmission. One of our tasks was to find out why you hadn't communicated. Why we hadn't communicated? You bastards! We kept trying and trying, but you told us to be patient and wait in the port. Sure, we waited. But you've seen what's out there. Waiting was suicidal. So we went into the sewers to hide, until Giancarlo and Leaf decided to give it another chance. When they didn't come back, Joseph decided to go and see what became of them. I don't know what to say. Maybe the team was in a... I never get out alive. Let's hope that you're wrong.
Hey, little evil one, don't stare at me like that. It's eyes. It's awful. Look, we sneak past it or we kill it. Make the choice, team.
What the hell is this thing talking about? This is in! Oh, Bella Lugosi is dead! Karaz, what's going on? Something shiny? Absolutely! Absolutely! Something shiny! So, I must go! So, shut up and go! I must live in you. Master! Ovitz, please stay calm. Sure, boss. Stay calm. Trust the demon. You have any more good advice, boss? Kura, are you crazy? What are you doing? Everyone, look alert. Ah, we've lost him. You see? There is always trouble when you trust the demon. More shooting. Less talking.
What the? Not good. He says leave me alone or I'll blow everything up. Careful then. Keep him calm, Ovitz. Tell him he'll... he'll be fine. What the? Not good. He says leave me alone or I'll blow everything up. Careful then. Keep him calm, Ovitz. Tell him he'll... he'll be fine. What do you people do to me? I hurt. No kidding. You don't look so good. Who are you? What happens here? We are NATO soldiers. We're here to help you. Wonderful. You, you take me with you, yes? Fine. Are you sure you're okay? No. Who's okay with monsters around? He asked how you were feeling. Oh, yes. I, I feel okay. I, I can walk. I cannot stay here. How did you survive all this? Me? Oh, I wasn't here when this happened. I am, uh, how do you say it? A people helper. I heard rumors that people, they need some help here. I come to help. And maybe I find something here, something there, a little side business, you know, as I must eat. If I have no food, then I cannot help people, you see. But I didn't know about these awful things, these monsters. I heard this Russian talk about radiation, but... What did he know, eh? He ran away, and then got killed by one of those things with cement on the feet. Fine. We'll talk about it later. For now, you'll have to come with us. Yes. Yes, I am ready. L let's go.
Take him out. I want to get us out of here alive. At last you give order I like.
too calm here. There you go, asking for more demon people. Don't we get enough trouble? Just spread out and stay alert. How they die. All right, all right. You know, sure. Maybe something they ate. <laughs> okay, I'm fine, really. I'm fine. <laughs> ah! I said you couldn't protect me. Oh. They came from nowhere. <laughs> like this one. I... Killed Trotty and others. Calm down, Joan. I'll, I'll help you. Don't say anything. I'm dying, aren't I? <laughs> McFadden! If only I could... Save that child. She's dead.
Captain, is that a woman? Impossible. These things uh, would have eaten her. Boss, it is a woman. Let's help her then. Enough people have died here already. You. Oh, God, thank you. Quickly, identify yourself. Calm down, I don't bite. My name's Ann Hutchins. I'm a journalist from the New Intelligence magazine. Wow, look at this place. To think I nearly skipped this assignment, a silly travel story. And instead, I'm chasing a Pulitzer. My alumni mag is gonna hear about this one. You've got quite a big mouth for someone who almost died a minute ago. How did he find this place? Duh, it's called a map, Hotshot. I'm just giving you a hard time, cutie. Seriously, I got stuck with this assignment. Of all things, a travel story about Poland. <laughs> Who'd have think you'd ever find anything interesting in Poland? But look at this place. Boy, was I wrong. Though I don't see the attraction for tourists. By the way, I heard some footsteps over there. Are there more of you around? What do you want, the whole army? No, it's just us. But here it could be anything. What the hell is going on with this place? Sorry, ma'am, we can't talk about it. You'd better keep moving, though, just in case anything's back there. Of course, I have to go with you, right? Right. Let's... Uh... No, please, let me, boss. Let's move out.
watch where you fire. Keep each other alive. We shoot a lot or we die, boss. Either way you die, Orbitz. I'm not losing anyone to friendly fire.
Captain, these are the same soldiers we met at the museum. They are just wearing different uniforms. This is true, my friends. However, I believe we can all get along. Let me introduce myself. I am General Kozov. We are traveling companions of a sort, yes? We both seek the laboratory. Happily, I know where it is, and you do not. However, I am a reasonable man. I wish only to reclaim a small thing that is lost. Beyond that, your business is your own. Are you concerned? Why be concerned? I merely want to reclaim a little property of the Russian Federation. Nothing to interfere with you at all. So, here we are. Friends, yes? Give me one more hour to go about my business, and I will tell you afterwards where the lab is. After all, you wish to work alone, as do I. We're not in Moscow, and you can't buy me off. Buy you off? <laughs> Such a vulgar term. I merely wish to offer you a trade. After all, what can you lose? You must know that they are monitoring us by satellite. With the world watching, what could I possibly do? You seem uncertain. Have I not shown you that I can be trusted? <laughs> if I wished you dead, my soldiers have had ample opportunity. I have interfered with your radio, yes, but I merely protect you. You cannot understand this place. It's uh, dangerous. So, uh, do you agree? Fine, you've got a deal. We'll give you 30 minutes. This is a good plan? Maybe you want us to loan them our guns also, huh? Oh, you are bitter, little magic. A shame for you that little Poland will always be a tiny speck beside the might of Mother Russia. Kurva, Mats! I say, let's blow his head open and see if his little secret is inside. Oh well, I had hoped this little Pole had learned enough from America to surrender like a good coward. Happily, we kill you.
damn secret is worth dying for. Eh, I think they are better off dead. Ovitz, have you ever had any feelings? Feeling? No, I am a wind-up toy. Hey, I found something. A map, I think. It looks like a map of this area. The hotel has an arrow next to it. Alright then, let's move out. The hotel is as good a place as any to look for the lab. Wait, there are words. But badly written. Nervous, maybe. Reminder, Group 2 is not Lamar's only option. Signed, uh, I can't make out the name. 
I don't like that they know about Lamar. For once I agree with you, Ovitz. Let's move out. Gasoline barrels over there. One shot and we'll all be roasted alive. Come on. Guns down. Use your fists, knives, whatever. Just don't shoot. Great. Next you want that I bite them.
this one, it is sad. They should have thrown it back when it was born. They killed Joan. I hope whoever made these things thinks it was worth it. Cannot be. Never worth it.
Are you mad, sir? <laughs> I'm not dying for that crazy pole. Change that attitude, soldier. I'll shoot you myself. That's better. Only move faster.
Wolfens, get back! We're coming! What? Chain is better. Only move faster.
Close to the answers. I won't see this mission fail. We need to survive! Survival! You seem afraid, Trunktine. What's waiting when you die, eh? How much sin for you, Trunktine? We're not gonna die, Ovitz. Not today.
What fun! You want to come kill us, little friends? Shut up, Ovitz! Hold together, Trontine! Hold together? We're at the end, sir! We're going to die! Death is not the end.
We have to leave you here for a little bit. Are you nuts? I brought myself here for a story. I'll get myself out if I have to. Sorry, miss. I have my orders. What's inside is classified. Classified and dangerous. You're unarmed, untrained, and unprepared. I won't put you or my men in danger for the sake of a story. Slavsky, please take care of her. I'll do my best. Yeah, leave me here with this gangsta. Just don't be sorry if something bad happens to me. War isn't funny. Watch what you wish for. We'll be back soon. What is that thing? It looks like... like it's nailed to the wall. Crazy devil probably crucify himself for pleasure. Keep back. Nothing is safe, ever. Fire if it moves.
Team, secure the perimeter. I'm opening a comm link to HQ. They'll need to know we found the lab. Sullivan here. Give me General Lamar, pronto. Code Alpha. Confirming code. Accessing digital encryption. Comsat secured. Sullivan! Sullivan! Well, you took your own sweet time, son. We encountered a couple little problems. Never mind, your report can wait. Have you found the lab? Yes, sir. I'm feeding you the GPS coordinates now. Excellent, son. I always knew I could count on you with the game on the line. It's not a game down here, sir. I see. Hold your position then. I'm informing EVAC now. Over.
look like travel guides, boss? S some sort of machine. It's a demon work. Stop it with the demon stuff. We've got a little problem. Let's deal with it. your weapons hold your fire hold your fire are you blind don't you see our uniforms we're on the same side I'm under orders to secure this area sir please comply your mission is over please drop your weapons we have evac en route to take you to HQ thanks for the invite but never take a ride from a stranger Ovitz Trontine take cover your funeral captain I hope there would be no resistance now you've just complicated my job. Fire! Sullivan! No! No! Why are they shooting at us? We're human! Look at us! We're human! You damn bastards! I kill you all! No, why are they... You damn bastards! I kill you all!
Open fire. Give it everything we've got. Mr. Demon, I think you will like to die.
Oh, Mats! What the hell happened? How did we get here? Huh. I, I guess the teleporter worked. I hope we don't turn into one of those mutants. You know, spend enough time with demons, they're not so bad, eh? <laughs> he's eyeing me. I can tell he's eyeing me. <laughs> In the afternoon, we all get a bit hungry, yes?
take your cannon. Come to Papa! I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What? What? You think they're here, don't you? Maybe. Something strange here. Too quiet. Keep your eyes wide open, guys.
Dabrowski? What? What in the world? We heard your screams. We were sure you were dead. And you look so hard to help me. I am lucky. I need no help. But listen now, we have not so much time. I'm tired of secrets. You lured us here, didn't you? You've been following us since the sewers. You want my story or do you want to ask me questions? Fine. We'll listen. You have heard, I think, of Gorky 17, a Russian city bombed by its own army. How did you know? Questions, questions, questions. Quiet and listen. Fine. So you hear of Gorky 17. But do you hear of Russian experiment codenamed Dasha's family? Eh, I think you don't. Also, you don't hear of teleportation. Yes, this is real. This works. <laughs> Only too well. Of course, Dasha's family was a military project. First they teleport animals, then they teleport humans. Works fine. Everything fine. But after two weeks, the people, they change. Their skin, it colors, they feel pain, angers, furies. Then worse, they, they mutate. You see yourself that after they weren't humans anymore, only what the scientists called hybrids. But do the scientists stop? No, they kill the hybrids, change the teleportation device a bit, start it again. Only now it's worse. Mutations come faster, within hours. And worse, the mutations start to spread like plague. How do the scientists say, yeah, yeah, yeah. He say, teleportation make virus. Virus change human. Smart scientist, but smart do not save him. He changed just like all the others. So the bombers come, they destroy the city, kill everyone, except for me. Do you have any proof? Do I have proof? I am proof. I survived Gorky 17. I was experiment. Only I know change, yes? Only I survived to remember the horror. Lucky yes, maybe no. You survived Gorky 17? Then how'd you get here? One failure, not enough. No, as you see, their work continues. They bring me here. It is how it is called the, um, a backup. Of course, the horror, it comes with them. You see it all here. No man did this. I think you are full of it. This is devil work. Why should we believe any of this? Yes, I almost believe you also. Only you survived. Only you want to tell all. Lucky, lucky guy. I have come with you here. I risk my life to get here, isn't that proof? Listen, Matrix Discs, fix this, fix people. Are you serious? Why didn't you just tell us? Many people, they do not want this fixed. They want this all gone, dead. Once I see that you were not one of them, then I can tell you. Talk is cheap, Dabrowski. So is paranoia, I want more than talk. This is crap. How do I know those discs don't kill us? I said Dubrowski's trouble when I see him. And I was right. Shut up, Ovitz. Let's see if the Matrix discs work. Come on, damn it! Something should be happening! Careful, Sullivan. You'll step back from that gear. I can't do that, sir. The world wants to know what's happened here. All the world wants is a good night's sleep, soldier. Now back off that gear now. No, sir. I've got a lot of questions and I plan to get my answers. One way or another. Listen, Sullivan. I picked you for this mission because you have a record of surviving. I'm trying to give you a chance to keep your record clean. I thought we were on the same side. This thing's beyond science, boss. Beyond good, beyond evil. I'm just cleaning up the crap I hear. I feel for you. Really, I do. If you feel any better, I promise on my mother's grave you'll be getting the Purple Heart for all of this. Posthumously, if necessary. Let me tell you where to shove your Purple Heart. Shoot the-
nothing's happened. Shouldn't the discs do something? You're a damn fool, Sullivan. I don't know who you think that man is, but let me tell you, he's Kozol's right-hand man. Dabrowski, what's he talking about? Why aren't these discs working? Perhaps you wait a time, that they work. And why you listen to him? He is with Kozov, he tried to kill us all. You hear my story, I am innocent. He is the killer here. Don't listen to him, Sullivan. He's lying to you. He was Kozol's right-hand man, and he used you to get into the lab because he couldn't do it by himself. Not do it? <laughs> I have twice brain as you. Huh? Where am I now? Brofsky, what are you saying? So what if you know, Sullivan? You do what I need. You burn the lab on. You see? This work. Now power! It is everywhere for those who understand. For me. That's enough. You are under arrest. Step back! <laughs> Dabrowski, that thing? Stop it! It's going after Lamar! Forget the general! He tried to kill us, boss! He's still human. Go! Go!
th He's still human. Go. Go! Diane Sullivan. Quick. You must listen. Alone. Ovitz. Trantine. Clear out. You shouldn't have stopped me, boy. Not that it matters. Now there are others, but they are confused. And they don't have my willpower, son. What others? When the crap hits, they're not gonna have the nerve. They'll understand the consequences, not like you. You've seen it. Now, listen carefully. Only a few people know the things I'm about to tell you. Back in 1989, one of our boys, Gordon Desta, found something new and exciting. Found that we all carry in one special little gene. A retrograde gene. We're born with this gene already inside. Only it is as if it's sleeping. Of course, it'll wake up someday. And when old Desta's gene is activated, everybody's gonna die. Who knows how long we had it, son? Probably since we first walked upright. All that time, our little gene just stayed quiet like it did with the dinosaurs. And then, click. Like a time bomb, it started ticking. 
Each year, we lose more. We've hidden it so far, but we're running out of time. It's a generation, more or less. Did you say all of mankind? That's a crock. This is about weapons, isn't it? Plagues to use against mankind. I'm telling you God's honest truth, boy. I was the only one in the group to admit it. The only one with the guts to act. That's bull. We've seen the Russians here. Of course you have. Of course you have. They got some smart minds up there in the ice. Best hyperdimensional physicists in the world. One of their boys, Morozov, designed a teleportation device. But only on paper. They had ideas, but they had no funding. That's where we came in. We helped with the cash. We believed that teleportation technology would help us to stop Dester's gene by essentially teleporting it out of human DNA. And he made it work, too. But after that, the Russians simply refused to give the teleportation devices to us, and Morozov disappeared. As I said, they needed the money. General Kozov, who was the coordinator of the project from the Russian side, felt he could sell it for a bundle. He thought he could sell it to Iraq, to us, to anyone who could pay it. Morozov's little brother convinced him that it could be a weapon, too. Said he could uh, control it. Kozov ran Gorky 17, the city where the lab was located. And then Vladimir started to mutate humans with the machines. Only he couldn't control it. Everything spun out of control. So Kozov decided to bomb and to destroy the whole damn city. He wanted the Soviet puppet masters to believe that the technology was destroyed with it. Except the technology survived. Oh yes, the technology. Kozov and Vladimir Morozov all survived. They created a backup laboratory here. That's when we think Vladimir got cold feet. He started trying to expose the entire project. He figured Kozov would kill him eventually anyway. He didn't care about the victims of his experiments, though, so don't think he was a martyr, boy. Vladimir played you for a fool, Sullivan. He said he was trying to save the city. What if it was true? Ah, shut up with y'all, truism. This is about survival, boy. That's why I sent Group 1 and you to find this place. That's why I couldn't let you survive once you found it. Imagine if information about Dester's gene went public. What kind of panic would it suit? We wouldn't even stand a chance. Men like me need time to find a cure. No. No. I won't believe that. It's too horrible. You must believe me. I'm dying. But there's still a chance. You've seen this place. You have the fire in your belly to do what must be done. There's an item in the laboratory which can save us all. This is what Kozov was after. What we were all after. Find it. I hope you will know what to do when you see it. Please, believe me. You are our last chance. General. Assuming I believe you, who else knows about this? Please, please, just go! Hurry! Hurry, you must hurry! Others will be coming! There's a secret room somewhere in the lab. Please find it. Please. God save us all.